We're going to expand this conversation, and joining us is Jason Unruhe out of Ontario, Canada, political commentator and analyst, and uh, Darius uh, Shah Tamasabi, lawyer and freelance journalist, joining us out of Auckland. Hello, gentlemen. Thank you joining, for joining us on the program. Jason, if I could start with you, your thoughts on Marzia's very suspect apprehension. And I mean, this is since Sunday, and all we know is that, uh, according to her relatives, Jason, she's being held as a material witness. Your thoughts, please. Well, this is a very suspicious way to treat someone who is a material witness to what we obviously don't know. It took them uh, quite a long time just to admit that she's even a witness to something, which is uh, evidently a reason for her detention. I, I, I don't know in, in what country where someone who's not really accused of a crime but being a witness to something is treated as though they were a criminal themselves. Uh, it all seems very suspicious to me what this is about. If she was wanted for questioning or if she wanted as a witness, then why not have her, you know, make a deposition? Why not have her uh, go on the record, uh, fill out an, an affidavit, uh, make uh, make an official statement, uh, speak before a, uh, a court stenographer? Why go to the trouble of arresting someone at an airport, holding them for, what, two, three days without giving any explanation for why they've been detained? and then uh, violating their uh, fundamental rights. I mean, is she being charged with a crime or is she just being uh, being held as a witness for something? If so, how does that justify the way that she's been treated? Jason, oh, uh, I, I don't mean to cut you off, but I just want to get this to you before you go on. Now, you know, up until 2001, for, for over 250 years, the material witness statute in the U.S. federal uh, you know law was for people who had, you know, material information with respect to a criminal charge now if and there, there's also the scope of impractical uh, uh, impractical i can't even get it out impractical kill impracticality of holding that person if, if if it's impractical they think that the person might flee in other words if you're a u.s citizens chances are you would get subpoenaed like you mentioned or have a sworn affidavit signed handed over to federal authorities and then that would uh, you know suffice for them but since she's stationed in iran and then post that becomes an issue and then since uh, september 11th 2001 the u.s has tweaked this federal statute to do what now to use a material witness statute to detain suspects without charge for indefinite periods of time because they, they may know someone that knows something about so, some crime somewhere down the, uh, the road basically it's almost like the administ uh, administrative detention uh, law that the israel used to hold palestinians without charge or trial for indefinite periods of time now i'm being very you know cynical here that this could be a worst case scenario that they could be trying to do this just to hassle her and get her family there in before a grand jury just to hassle anyone they can to possibly a perjury on being for you know maybe getting their stories wrong about some you know marginalized issue at some marginalized point in time uh, that's that's certainly the case with the law is it, is it really necessary in this case to, to to go through all of this was it uh, was it was, was it necessary to rip off her hijab to uh, deliberately uh, give her only pork to eat in violation of her religious rights? Uh, this doesn't seem like something that's like a run-of-the-mill operation. This seems more like a harassment and intimidation tactic. I mean, is it really necessary to go to all these uh, lengths of these all these extra things that they've been doing to, uh, to humiliate her, to degrade her, insult her uh, for some? Someone who's a, a material witness. It seems that this is awfully aggressive and this is awfully extreme for something like this. For some, you know, just holding somebody who may have information or may have been a witness to something. This is a very draconian for something that you know she doesn't seem to even be accused of a crime herself. And in, in this situation, it's it's just. It, the, the whole ordeal for wanting someone as a witness, it's, it's, it's all being done in, in, in a very nasty manner. I mean, she was there for 40 days, Jason. They had no just cause to